It is a new week and a new episode leading to Havelina, and I'm super excited. And we are talking about tennis and track. No way! Way! Real quick, wait, if you have yet to hit the subscribe button, I believe I am one subscriber away from 300. Not a huge number, but it's just a milestone. So smack the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, like the video, all the fun stuff you're supposed to do, back to the video. It is Saturday morning and it is back at the track day as you can assume. Now, here's the interesting part. All the seniors have done their parking spaces with some weird stuff, but we all did it. Here's what's depressing. 2025. Wow. I'm not going to tell you what year I graduated, but that's sickening. Anyways, back of the track, got the workout programmed into the watch. We're going to get that going. I got some different shorts on. I'm trying something else. Uh, I had a, another pair that I love. You guys have seen them in all my videos. In fact, they're right here. And I will post a link in the description below. And these, these were uh, awesome with chafing, so I wasn't uh, having issues. The type that I'm wearing now, I couldn't wear before because I was overweight, a lot of fat in the legs. Chafing, I know it's a little bit of personal information, but a lot of us experience this. So with the nut butter and all the fun stuff, uh, we're gonna try something new. These are a little bit lighter, a little bit higher, but let's get to it. Accept the loss, I'm hard headed. There's a little bit of madness to my method. Many falling off that fine line that I'm treading. I risk anything to be great, and I'm not letting nobody rob me of my victory. Number one, that's what I'm meant to do. When by any means, only thing that makes sense to me, I can make nice or make history. I got that dog in me, yeah. Turn me up. Big energy, got the crowd going nuts. I got that dog in me, yeah. One on one, I got that dog in me, yeah I'm talking all bite, no bark I could rip your squad up I got that dog in me, huh. So what's up? Yeah, 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 so what's up? Back workout is complete And of course I couldn't do it without Thefeed.com uh, huge thanks to them for supplying me with all the stuff that I use. One reason that I do love the feed is because I'm not stuck to one particular brand. So I could utilize all the tools that make me feel better when I'm doing all of my training and it doesn't mess with my stomach. So there are certain manufacturers that make certain products that work and they make certain products that don't. So being sponsored by the feed allows me to enjoy all different types and to test all different types. So it's a weed, check them out, feed.com, link in the description below. It is Sunday morning. As you guessed it, we are back on the track today. Now, why are we on the track so much? Because, real simple, I'm trying to get faster. I want to uh, PR in my half marathon. How does this relate to Havelina? Well, basically what the track's gonna help do is get you to activate those muscles when you need them, kind of take off that burst and that speed. Now with Havelina, the old saying is, if you think you're going slow, you're probably going too fast, and that's probably correct. And with the ultra distance, of course that is an effect but we're doing more than just an ultra so we've got to work on all around running ability so here we are again beautiful morning I told him, move over. enough of that mediocre i've been the man since yeah. cruising around in the stroller yeah. i got ice in my veins like a cut in minnesota okay. why not show you how i'm built come a little closer okay. hey. a lot of heart been smart aura got a glow we can restart give head stars still get the same result i'm about mine don't you get it confused? I'ma win, win again, yeah, that's all that I do. I got that dog in me, yeah, turn me up. Big energy, got the crowd going nuts. I got that dog in me, yeah, and he up. Now, as you can see, back in the old training shorts, the other ones worked awesome. I only bought one pair, and obviously I'm not gonna wear them two days in a row because that's just disgusting. But just losing some of the fat I had in my legs helped with the chafing, so if that's a problem, Good focal point, and then obviously lathering it up with a bunch of crap. So, yeah. I don't need a one on one. Got that dog in me, yeah. I'm talking all bite, no bark. I could grip your squad up. I got that dog in me, huh? So, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's up? Lap workout completed. 
tennis time. And we're gonna explain how this is gonna help. So, like I said before, tennis is not just a me sport. It is uh, our household. We're all doing it. It's something to get us outside. Again, doing something else that somebody else in the house wants to do, not just what I want to do, which is a lot of my time when I'm training. But what has it done to help? A lot. First off, it is very, very cardio focused. In fact, there's a whole thing called cardio tennis. And that's not focusing on how hard can you serve, how hard can you hit the ball, but it's following back and forth, moving positions, changing positions, taking off from one spot to another, to another, to another as quick as you can, which causes you to be out of breath. Pretty common, and I can tell you that just doing it a little bit, I was absolutely out of breath. Let me tell you. But it was really, really fun, and of course there were some times that made me say things like, Oh shit. Ow, that. Sorry. That's right. Ah. Shit. How in the heck else is tennis going to help? Something that I noticed out of the gate was my ankles were starting to hurt. And when did I else in my events did my ankles hurt? I don't know if that makes sense exactly. Basically the first time I ever ran on a trail. Basically what that is, undulation in the trail, meaning rocks, boulders. It's not perfectly flat like any marathon, 5K, all the other things I've ran. So when I started playing tennis, I was actually finding a really good benefit in that helping build my muscles that go down my legs, support, the ankle support. So that should help us on here. Now, again, I'm not a professional. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a sports anything. I am just testing different things out. And I can tell you, it has made a difference. They don't get it. So yes, tennis was fun this weekend, even though it was over 100 degrees outside. Keep a cool towel, lots of water bottles, and just take your time. Not try to kill yourself, no need to. In fact, it does nobody any good, and I'm not gonna make it to Wimbledon. But other than that, great time being outside, good time just all encompassing, and I look forward to getting a little bit better because I am absolutely shit at tennis. And that's okay because we are never that good at anything we start out unless we're just really, really gifted and I am not the case. Anyways, thank you guys for watching another episode. Next week will be a race week. That's right, San Diego Tri-Classic down in Point Loma. I am doing the duathlon run, bike run. I just really don't wanna to swim, to be honest with you. So uh, we're gonna run, we're gonna bike, and we're gonna run. Beautiful ride through the Rosecrans uh, Cemetery to Fort Rosecrans, turn around, come back into Point Loma, and a nice run. But we will see you guys next week with that race recap video. Wow, we are a little over a month away from Havelina. Super excited. Can't wait. Anyways, see you next week. Peace like me.